Include this at the beginning of the video. This is me doing like the classic YouTube, like, you know. <laughs> hey, GQ, I'm Finn Wolfhard, and today I'm gonna go undercover on the internet again. It's actually me. So Twitter's first. Finn Wolfhard, which character would you like Mike to interact more in season five? I really miss doing scenes with Gaten Matarazzo, who plays Dustin. Like we had a lot of scenes together in season one. He's like a old character actor. He's like Alan Older or something like that. I feel like he's been 60 since he was like 12 years old. So he's always really fun and funny to act with and I love him. So I'd love to do more scenes with him in the next season. Next. I wonder if Finn Wolfhard hates Mike Wheeler as much as the rest of us for hurting Will. He's just such an idiot. I don't understand. He's very, very, very clueless. Yeah, it was pretty heartbreaking actually to do that, to do that scene of just like, how do you not understand that your friend is struggling through something? Yeah, I don't know. I don't use the word hate. I always try to forgive the characters. <laughs> that I play. So far, so good. I haven't been like publicly attacked yet for any of the roles that I've played, which is good. Only, you know, only on the internet where, you know, it's, it's very easy to get um, called out. I wonder which of the characters in the Finn Wolfhard cinematic universe Finn Wolfhard relates to most. Would that be called an FCU? The FCU? It sounds like a wrestling federation or something like that. I try to at least relate to every character that I'm playing as much as I can. The character that I've, I feel like that I've been felt the most like was maybe like Richie from It, because I just got to joke around with my friends for a whole summer and that's kind of what I like to do and just be really obnoxious generally. So that was pretty, that comes, comes easy to me, I guess. If I had a nickel for every time Finn Wolfhard starred in music videos playing a younger version of a different band's lead singer, I'd have three nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it's happened thrice. I like the use of thrice. Um, so I thank you for that first. Yeah, no, it is really weird. I, the first role that I ever had was for a Vancouver local band called, they were called Facts. And I played the young version of, uh, of the lead singer. And then I was in two videos for this punk band from Toronto called Pop where I played the lead singer again twice. So I guess I just like look like lead singers from bands or something like that. I guess I was typecast. I'm surprised that I wasn't in more. Posted. Instagram. I can't believe season five will be the final season. Crying, crying, crying. What's your favorite BTS Stranger Things memory? I hope you all stay friends. Cross fingers emoji, two hearts spinning around, and then pray hands. Yeah, I hope we all stay friends too. I don't think there's any way for us not uh, to stay friends because we're kind of bonded forever, uh, I would say. I can't really believe it's the fifth season either. By the time it comes out, I will be 22, I think. And I started working on the show at 12. That is insane. And uh, I'll be able to drink with Gaten and Caleb and Noah and the whole cast at the premiere of Stranger Things 5, which couldn't have said the same thing at the season one premiere, which blows my mind. I mean, Netflix is gonna want us to come back in 10 years anyways and do like Stranger Things, the adult years or whatever. So they want they want to milk it. They want to, you know, people want to see it. And I do too, I want to milk it as well. <laughs> Yo, what, Jesse Eisenberg movie? I'm intrigued. I was also intrigued as well. And uh, I was really happy to be a part of the film. And I'm a big fan of Jesse's as a person and as a writer and so, to be able to work with him and you know become friends with him has been incredible. He's one of the best people I know. Yeah, you know, it was really fun to be able to also play music in the movie because I could kind of hide behind the guitar and feel a little more at home while I was playing the uh, playing the role. All right, Reddit. Do you think Mike will die in season five? I hope not. Or you know what? I don't know. Depends when. If it's like one of those things where it's like in the first episode, cold open, no. Last episode, Mike saves everyone's life. And it's like, oh yeah, Mike. You know, everyone's like cheering and shouting yes. And you know, I'd do that maybe. No, I don't think he will. I mean, maybe I'll, I should ask the Duffer brothers because I want to know if like I have a job next year. Finn Wolfhard as young Severus Snape, thoughts? This has 302 upvotes, so I'll let the fans decide. There's an interesting parallel though with my hair. That's about it. I think I'm, Probably the least Snape-like person. I'm not as deadpan, but maybe I could. I don't know. We'll have to see. Again, we'll consult the fans. Replied. 
career predictions for the Stranger Things cast. I think Gaten's gonna be like an unbelievable character actor. I think that like he's gonna keep going and being on stage and on Broadway. I think Caleb will be an incredible uh, dramatic actor as he gets older and also a great businessman. He'll probably open a bunch of, I don't know, restaurants. He's a restaurant, he'll be on, like a restaurant tour or something like that. David Harbour's gonna move to the woods and no one's gonna see him again. He's gonna live in this like weird little shack and, and there's a Stranger Things reunion and we're all gonna say, where's David? And someone will say, I haven't seen him in 40 years. I think everyone will sort of have uh, a nice next few years of their of their career. Yeah. Oh, Cora, we're getting deeper into the internet. What are some Stranger Things fun facts? There's a few. Another thing about Gaten, Gaten was the first person to get the part. He found out that he got the part of Dustin on the bus ride home from the audition. I didn't find out till five months later. <laughs> so I was the last one cast, Duffer Brothers. There's that, it was originally supposed to be set in Long Island and it got changed to the town of Hawkins, which is a fictional town. Not a lot of people like wanted the show. Like they pitched it to like so many people and no one said yes. And Netflix was the only people that said yes. There was a scene in season two where everyone is together again at the buyer's house. Dustin's talking about something and Joe Keery just says, his line is just the Germans. He was playing it so straight and Charlie Heaton, it was like a one, had to be a one take. And every time he would say that, like Charlie would crack up. And it got to the point where like everyone got so, like the Duffer Brothers and like David Harbour got so like mad at him that they just were like, you know what, Charlie's just not in the scene. And we were like, what? And they're like, yeah, Charlie, I don't know. Like Charlie, you gotta go outside. You're laughing too hard. Like he's in the bathroom or something like that. Like Jonathan's just the way. So I think if you notice, there's parts of the scene where like they're very, obviously cutting around Charlie. And he breaks easily the most out of anyone that I know, I think, on the show. So that was really, really funny. How would you describe Finn Wolfhard's personal style? Oh man, I'd like to see the comments on this one. Simple vintage stuff? I don't know. It's, if it's comfortable, then I'll wear it. But yeah, I like wearing like movie t-shirts and band t-shirts and stuff like that. But sometimes I'll wear the same pair of pants like for, you know, a month or whatever, which is actually kind of disgusting. Nowadays, I, th I respect people that just go for simplicity. Jesse Eisenberg, he, what I noticed yesterday is that he's worn the same jacket and the same Indiana University hat since 2020, I think before that as well. He wears the same shirt every single day and the same jacket every single day and the same hat, which I find uh, great. I respect him for it. How do I get Finn Wolfhard to notice me? Post something about him on the internet and he might do one of those going undercover on the internet they do on GQ. That is unbelievably meta. You know, because it's an anonymous question, I hope you're watching and you finally got your notice. Yeah, that's sweet. YouTube. Market. We should be the one that starts the blooper reel. Why is nobody talking about Finn's British accent and how good it was? He's been hanging out with Charlie too much. Yeah, I feel like I unfairly made fun of his accent a lot around him. That's me making fun of Charlie, but not like in a totally malicious way. I try not to uh, to do that, but we go into a lot of bits on set to sort of keep us from not going insane. Specifically that day, we were just in the desert in like a hundred degree heat driving around with no air conditioning. And so, I mean, you can see Noah with the handheld fan that like doesn't do anything. Yeah, that's me trying to make a joke. And if you can notice in the clip, no one laughs. That's just day to day on set. Hey GQ, I'm Noah Schnapp and I'm going undercover on the internet. Do you think Noah Schnapp will be taller than Finn Wolfhard by the end of season four? Finn's tall, I mean. I hope so. I, I, want, I, I want, want to be, be tall. tall. I just want to be six feet tall. <laughs> so far, I think he hasn't, he's, he's not there yet. If he surpasses me, then there's gonna be a fight, I think, on set. Whoever wins gets more screen time. I mean, even in season one, I think there are, like, people are changing pretty rapidly. Another shout out to Gaten, his voice changed halfway through filming. I think it's episode probably four. His voice is completely different. If you go back, you can really, really tell that his, that his voice changed, which is really funny. I guess that's just the nature of like working with kids for an extended period of time. I may be the first to see him of everybody. Oh my God, Finn Wolfhard in Wednesday. Oh, I saw this. No, <laughs> that's not me. I did not travel to Eastern Europe during COVID to be in the background of a shot of Wednesday. I feel like that would be kind of weird, but it does kind of look like me. I weirdly, I feel like I have a lot of doppelgangers. Anyone with like dark hair and bigger eyes, I feel like I could easily look like, but no, I was not in Wednesday yet. I don't know why I said yet. I probably won't be in Wednesday, but you know, 
It's cool. Oh, Wikipedia. Let's see if they got anything right or wrong. Wolfhard also joined Guillermo del Toro's stop motion animated musical film, Pinocchio in 2022. That was cool. Crazy, um, and I'm really proud to be a part of a film like that. I auditioned for that, and I auditioned for that a, while, a long time ago, and then I recorded in London once, and then through the pandemic, and yeah, it took a long time. I think they shot for a thousand days. It was really cool to see it all come together, and I was honored to work with Guillermo del Toro, and be a part of a film that has like that good of a cast was really amazing as well. One of my favorite mediums for filmmaking in general is stop motion. I grew up like watching, you know, all of the Leica films, obviously, but also Night Before Christmas. And um, my godmother is a an animator, and she started her career in stop motion as well. And so I grew up sort of watching those sort of movies. Um, so I've always been a fan of them. Wolfhard made his directorial debut with the comedy short film Night Shifts. Yeah, I wrote this uh, short for my friends, uh, Billy and Artoon, and sort of wanted to write something for them because I thought they were really funny together. It's about a convenience store robbery. While we are shooting the sort of scene where Artoon, the character of Artoon, comes in and robs a convenience store, right behind Artoon, a real guy came in to rob the convenience store and was pointing a fake gun at the register, and everyone thought at the time that it was real. And I didn't see anything, I was just looking at my monitor, but everyone was sort of frozen. And my friend Artoon, who had a fake gun as well, like a prop gun, turned around and panicked and then pointed his fake gun at the guy, so they were just at a fake gun standoff. And then the guy ended up just like walking away and everyone was like, what just happened? And, and then we all just were, looked at our tune and we were like, why did you do that? Why, what if you had a real gun? He's like, I don't know, I panicked. I have no idea what I did. So they had an imaginary standoff while we were filming a short film about a robbery. Okay, that's it. I'm signing off the internet forever.